Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a profile name for the Terraform user we created in the previous lecture. The profile name will allow Terraform to create resources in our AWS environment using the Terraform user's credentials. In the previous lecture, we created an IAM user and I called that IAM user Terraform user. So if I select services, and I come down to security, identity, and compliance, and I'm going to select IAM. On my IAM dashboard, I'm going to select users. Under users, you will see the Terraform user I created. In this lecture, we are going to create a profile name for this user. To create a profile name for this user, it is very simple. The first thing we are going to do is open our command prompt. So I'm going to select the start menu. And under the search, I'm going to type CMD. And I'm going to select the command prompt. To create a profile for the Terraform user, we are going to type AWS configure. Then press the space bar. Then we are going to add the profile flag. To add the profile flag, you are going to type it like this. So it is dash dash profile, then press space again. Then we are going to enter the name of the profile. The name of the profile can be any name you want, but I always like to match the profile name to the username. So for my profile name, I'm also going to call it Terraform user. And once you've typed it, press enter. Once you press enter, the first thing it is going to ask you for is the access key ID of this Terraform user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the CSV file I downloaded in the last lecture. I'll browse to the location where I saved it. It is under my downloads. I'm going to open it. And I'm just going to expand this. And in here, you can see my Terraform username my access key ID and secret access key. The first thing I'm going to do is copy the access key ID. I'll select everything, copy it. I'll come back to my command prompt and I'm going to paste it in there. Then I'm going to press enter. And next it is asking for my secret access key. I'll open my CSV file again. I'll select my secret access key, copy everything. Copy, minimize, and paste it here and press enter. The next value it is asking for is our default region name. For this project, I'm going to be working in the US East 1 region. And just in case if you don't know what value to enter in here for the region, come to the management console in the upper right hand corner where you see this global, select the drop down and you'll see the list of the regions in here. I am going to use the US East region. So the value I will type in my command prompt is US East 1. So I'll open my command prompt and in there I'll type US East 1. And once you have typed the value, press enter. And for the default output format, press enter. And there you go. We have created our profile name for this Terraform user. The next thing we need to do is verify that we have set up our profile name correctly. To verify that I've set up my profile name correctly, I'm going to use that profile name to list all the S3 bucket in my AWS account. So for example, I have some S3 bucket in my account. If I go to the S3 service, I'll select services, I'll select S3 under storage. And you can see all this bucket that I have in my account. I am going to list all this bucket in the command line. So I'll open the command prompt again. To list all those bucket, I'm going to type AWS S3 LS. Then I'm going to enter the profile flag again. Then I'm going to enter the name of the profile I want to use. In this case, I call the profile Terraform user. So I'm going to type it down here. And once you've typed the profile name, press enter. And there you go. 
you can see that I can list all the buckets in my AWS account in the command line. So that means I've set up my profile correctly and I can use this user's credentials to interact with my AWS environment. The last thing I want to show you is if you are curious where this credentials is on your computer, open a folder on your computer, then come to the C drive and select users. And in the users folder, my username is called admin, but in your computer, it may be called your name. I'm going to select this folder and select the .aws folder. And in here, you are going to see a config file and a credentials file. In the config file, if we right click on it, and we are going to select open with, and let's open it with notepad and select OK. And you will see the profile I created, Terraform user, and the region I selected. So I'm going to close that. Next, let's select the credentials. I'm going to right click on it, open with, notepad okay and you can also see the terraform user profile i created and you can see the access key id and secret access key so in case where you change your access key id and secret access key you can always come into this file to change them here and once you change them you will just save this file i just want to show you these files just in case you are curious where the credentials are located on your computer Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.